are seven types of individuals the Bible warns about regarding their inability or unwillingness to receive salvation, the proud and self-righteous. Pride is often cited in the Bible as a barrier to salvation. Jesus frequently criticized the Pharisees and religious leaders of his time for their pride and self-righteousness. In Luke chapter 18 verses 9 to 14, Jesus tells the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, illustrating how the humble tax collector, who recognized his sinfulness, was justified before God. Whereas the prideful Pharisee was not. The unrepentant sinner, repentance is a central theme in the Bible's message of salvation. Without genuine repentance, there can be no forgiveness of sins. The Bible warns against those who persist in sin without remorse or a desire to change their ways. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. The lukewarm and indifferent, in Revelation chapter 3 verses 15 to 16, Jesus admonishes the church in Laodicea for being lukewarm, neither hot nor cold. He warns that he will spit out the lukewarm from his mouth, indicating his disapproval of spiritual indifference. Those who are complacent in their faith and lack genuine passion for God may find themselves outside the realm of salvation. The hypocrite, hypocrisy, pretending to be something one is not, is condemned throughout the Bible. Jesus reserved some of his harshest words for hypocrites, likening them to whitewashed tombs. Beautiful on the outside but full of dead bones and uncleanness on the inside, Matthew chapter 23 verse 27. Hypocrisy undermines the credibility of one's faith and can lead to spiritual blindness. The stubborn and rebellious, the Bible warns against stubbornness and rebellion against God's will. The Israelites' journey through the wilderness serves as a cautionary tale of what happens when people harden their hearts against God's guidance and refuse to submit to His authority. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 15 urges believers not to harden their hearts as the Israelites did in the rebellion. The idolater, idolatry, the worship of false gods or the prioritization of anything above God is repeatedly condemned in the Bible. Exodus chapter 20 verses 3 to 5 expressly forbids the worship of other gods, warning that God is a jealous God who punishes idolatry to the third and fourth generations. Idolatry can take many forms, including the love of money, power, or material possessions. The blasphemer against the Holy Spirit. Jesus speaks about the unforgivable sin of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit in Matthew chapter 12 verses 31 to 32. While the exact nature of this sin has been debated, it generally refers to a deliberate and persistent rejection of the work of the Holy Spirit, attributing the work of God to evil or demonic forces. This indicates a hardened heart that refuses to acknowledge the truth even when confronted with it. It's important to note that while the Bible warns against these attitudes and behaviors, it also offers hope and redemption to all who genuinely seek it. Salvation is available to anyone who humbly acknowledges their need for God's grace, repents of their sins, and trusts in Jesus Christ as their Savior. As 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9 says, The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. The unbeliever. One of the foundational beliefs of Christianity is faith in Jesus Christ as the Son of God and the Savior of humanity. John chapter 3 verse 16 famously states, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Those who reject or refuse to believe in Jesus Christ may find themselves excluded from the promise of eternal life in heaven. The unrepentant sinner, repentance, or turning away from sin and toward God, is a recurring theme in the Bible. Without repentance, there can be no forgiveness of sins. Jesus himself emphasized the importance of repentance, saying in Luke chapter 13 verse 3, But unless you repent, you too will all perish. Those who persist in sin without remorse or a desire to change may face judgment rather than entrance into heaven. The self-righteous. Jesus frequently criticized the self-righteous attitudes of the religious leaders of his time. In Luke chapter 18 verses 9 to 14, he tells the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, illustrating how the humble tax collector, who acknowledged his sinfulness and cried out for mercy, was justified before God, whereas the self-righteous Pharisee was not. Those who rely on their own righteousness rather than trusting in the grace of God may miss out on heaven. The hypocrite, hypocrisy, pretending to be something one is not, is condemned throughout the Bible. Jesus reserved some of his strongest words for hypocrites, likening them to whitewashed tombs. 
Beautiful on the outside but full of dead bones and uncleanness on the inside. Matthew chapter 23 verse 27. Hypocrisy undermines the sincerity of one's faith and may lead to exclusion from heaven. The idolater. Idolatry, the worship of false gods or the prioritization of anything above God, is explicitly forbidden in the Bible. Exodus chapter 20 verses 3 to 5 states, You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. Those who engage in idolatry, whether worshiping literal idols or placing anything above God in their lives, may find themselves outside the kingdom of heaven. The unforgiving, forgiveness is a central tenet of Christian teaching. Jesus taught his disciples to pray, forgive us our debts. As we also have forgiven our debtors, Matthew chapter 6 verse 12. In the parable of the unforgiving servant, Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 to 35, Jesus emphasizes the importance of forgiving others as we have been forgiven by God. Those who harbor bitterness, resentment, or refuse to forgive others may jeopardize their own forgiveness and entrance into heaven. The lukewarm and indifferent, in Revelation chapter 3 verses 15 to 16, Jesus rebukes the church in Laodicea for being lukewarm, neither hot nor cold. He warns that he will spit out the lukewarm from his mouth, indicating his disapproval of spiritual indifference. Those who are complacent in their faith, lacking genuine passion or commitment to God, may find themselves excluded from heaven. It's essential to recognize that the Bible also emphasizes God's mercy, grace, and desire for all people to be saved. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9 states, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. While these categories highlight behaviors and attitudes that may hinder entrance into heaven, the overarching message of the Bible is one of redemption, forgiveness, and the offer of salvation to all who believe in Jesus Christ. Please subscribe my YouTube channel I hope you like this video thank you.